Shopify is an amazing online store builder. I personally use Shopify for all my store builds. However, something that is often frustrating for Shopify users is connecting and setting up a professional domain and business email with Shopify. So that's my focus today to walk you through how to set up a new domain and business email with your Shopify store. Here we are inside the back end of a Shopify account. Now, for those of you that are completely new to Shopify, what I'll do is add a link down below in the description that will get you started for only $1 per month for the first three months. That's going to allow you to test out and see if Shopify is for you. I also have a complete Shopify tutorial, which will help you set up, create and launch your Shopify store and how you can start driving sales right away. If you're interested in this tutorial, I'll add that down below. Now, what we wanna do first is connect a professional domain name with our Shopify store. If we navigate down to settings, you'll notice that our store is currently using this free Shopify domain, flyflowsound.myshopify.com. And when you first get started with Shopify and you don't buy a domain name through Shopify, then you'll have the option to use a myshopify.com domain. However, today we wanna to connect a professional domain name from a different domain provider with our Shopify store. Let's navigate down to domains, then navigate up to connect existing domain. For me, I've already purchased a domain from a third party hosting platform called Hostinger. And don't worry, you can follow along with this tutorial if you've purchased your domain from a different provider. Now, for those of you that haven't purchased a professional domain yet, you can go ahead and purchase a domain through Shopify and the domain setup will automatically be done for you. However, if you're like me, I like to host my domains on a third party platform. Okay, so let's connect an existing domain that we already Already own. Next, head over to your domain hosting site that you use to purchase your domain. For me, I use Hostinger to purchase my different domains. The reason being it's affordable and also offers a powerful and affordable business email, which I'll show you how to set up later. Okay, so for those of you that are yet to purchase a domain and you'd like to use Hostinger, simply head over to hostinger.com or click on the link in the description below this video and that's gonna take you here. Then simply navigate over to domains and then navigate down here and search for your domain and purchase the domain name that you want to use. Okay, so if you're like me and you already have a domain name that you want to connect with your Shopify store, go ahead and log into the back end of your domain provider. Here you can see I'm inside of Hostinger. If you're using a different third-party domain site, go ahead and locate domains. Within Hostinger, all I need to do is locate domain portfolio. Then locate the domain that you've just purchased or you've purchased in the past. And what we want to do is add this domain name into Shopify. So I'm just going to copy this and head over to Shopify, then paste in my domain up here. This is my domain that I want to connect with my Shopify store. Then here, all we need to do is update our DNS settings. And don't worry, this may look daunting, but it's really straightforward. And I'll walk you through this process. Navigate back over to your domain hosting provider. Then go ahead and manage the domain that you just purchased. And you want to look for the DNS settings or name server settings inside your domain provider account. And what you want to do is locate the manage DNS records. And every domain provider has this option. Now, if you cannot find this option, you can get in touch with your domain provider and ask them to do this for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and update our DNS records so that we can connect our custom domain, our professional domain with our Shopify store. Navigate back over to Shopify and we want to add the first row details. Type A, name is at, and the current value is this, we want to add this new value. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm going to copy this new value and head back to my hosting account. Then down here, select type, we wanna select A. Under name, we want to add at, and then points to, and add the value in here. Then click on add record. Now, if you have an existing A record, we need to go ahead and edit that record or delete it. For example, this is our current A record that we want to remove. I'm going to cancel out of this and then navigate down and you'll notice this is the old A record that we can go ahead and delete. DNS record deleted successfully. Let's navigate back up here and go ahead and try add record again. And as you can see, DNS record created successfully. Let's navigate back to Shopify. Next, we want to add this C name. Again, I'm going to copy this value and head back to hosting it or your domain hosting platform. Then navigate down to manage DNS. We want to add C name, then change name to www. And as you can see, this conflicts with another resource record, which means we have an existing C name record that we need to delete first. Let's navigate down to our records and you can see this C name record in here. Now we can either edit the C name record or delete it altogether and replace it with the new C name record. I'm going to do that. 
And as you can see, DNS record deleted successfully. And now let's add that www in again. And now we have no warning. Let's navigate over to target and add the value and then click on add record. And just like that, the DNS record has been created successfully. And it's as simple as that. Again, like I mentioned, if your domain already has an A record or a C name record, you will need to delete those records first. Now let's head back to Shopify and click on I updated DNS records. And just like that, we've successfully connected our branded domain name with our Shopify store. Now it may take a few hours for your SSL to stop pending. However, let's navigate back and you can now see our primary store domain name is the custom domain that I just connected, flowflysound.com. Let's go ahead and test this out by adding this domain name inside our browser. And as you can see, let's go ahead and refresh that. This new domain name is now pointing to our Shopify store. Okay, let's head back to our Shopify backend. Hey guys, just quickly, did you know that over 90% of you that enjoy our free educational content have not yet subscribed? It would mean a lot to me if you drop a comment or hit subscribe if you love what I'm creating. This helps us grow the channel and motivates me to create bigger and more impactful tutorials for you to consume for free. Okay, so with that happy note, thank you in advance and let's get back to the video. Next, what we want to do is connect a business email. So we've gone ahead and connected our custom domain name. Now we want to create a business email with this domain and connect it to Shopify. What we first want to do is navigate over to general, then go ahead and edit store details. And here we can add our store email. This should be our business email. Now for those that just want to connect a forwarding email and you purchased a domain name inside of Shopify, then you can quickly set up a forwarding email, meaning you can add a professional business email in here and people can send an email to that business email and that will go to a different inbox. It might be a Gmail inbox, a Yahoo inbox or something else or another location. However, you cannot send emails using this method. Again, if you're interested in learning how to set up email forwarding, I will add a tutorial up above and down below in the description for you to check out. Okay, so for us, we wanna set up and add a professional business email in here and be able to send and receive emails with a professional business email. To do this, we're gonna head back over to Hostinger. And again, like I mentioned earlier, the reason I love using hosting for hosting domains is because you can also easily set up affordable business emails. And that's using a powerful business email service called Titan. However, if you prefer using Gmail, for example, Google Workspace, and you want to set up a professional business email with Google Workspace, then I will add the appropriate tutorial down below in the description. For me, I'm going to use Titan, which is an email service that we can set up inside of hosting it. This is an incredibly affordable and powerful business email service that I use for all our Shopify stores. Okay, so all I'm going to do is navigate over to emails, then navigate over to get a plan. We want to get an email plan with a domain that currently doesn't have one. And for the majority of small online stores, the basic Titan business email is going to be sufficient enough for you. And you can always upgrade at any time. As you can see, this is only $1.59 per month per account. So this is the price per business email, per business inbox. This is a lot more affordable than Microsoft 365 or Google Workspace and has everything that a small business needs to get started with business emails. Okay, so let's connect this business email. Choose your payment method. For me, this is just an example. So I'm going to select one month and then complete this purchase. Then here, all I need to do is select a domain that I have inside my hosting account. Again, if you're using a different hosting provider, a different domain provider, then go ahead and click on select and use an existing domain that you purchased from another location. I'm going to navigate up to select. Then here, what we want to do is quickly add DKIM records to improve the deliverability of our email. This increases our email reputation and is necessary for all email providers. Click on improve email reputation then navigate down to add, then navigate down here and you'll see instructions to adding this new text record to your domain provider's website. Again, creating a text record allows for reliable email delivery. So all we need to do is create a text record with this information here. So what you wanna do is copy these details and then head over to your DNS settings again. I'm going to quickly do that inside my hosting account. And here we are inside of our DNS settings, name server settings. Now you'll notice if you're using hosting that the DKIM text record has automatically been added. However, if you're using a different provider, all you want to do is navigate up to type, then locate text, add the name in here, then the text value, and then simply click on add record. 
Now, because I purchased my domain with Hostinger and purchased the Titan email, the business email inside Hostinger 2, this text record will automatically be added. However, if you're using a different domain provider, then go ahead and add that text record like this and click on add record. Okay, so I'm going to head back to my business email and again, navigate up to improve email reputation, then navigate down to add, scroll down to the bottom and this is automatically being added for me so i'm going to click verify changes and as you can see dkim status is verified and if we navigate up to the top your email reputation is good let's head back to emails and click on our domain and then click on email accounts here we want to create our new email account so this is our business email remember we're using our domain name that we purchased earlier and this could be anything that you like I recommend adding your first name, such as Stuart at flowflysound.com. You can always add sales, admin, help, or a different business email if you like. Although it's best practice to add your first name or the email user's first name and then set up help, sales, admin as aliases later down the track. And you can connect those aliases to a primary email like this one here. Then go ahead and add a password, then add a password recovery email address. This could be an existing email that you're currently using. I'm just going to add my Gmail address and then click on create new account. Then navigate up to access webmail, which will take you to the Titan website, or you can download the Titan mobile app so you can access your business emails on the go from your mobile device. Let's access webmail, add your login details for your business email, confirm your recovery email, and that's going to take you inside your business email. Welcome to your new professional email. You have access to advanced tracking. You can simply track when email recipients open up your email. You can create email templates to quickly respond to customers, add follow-up reminders. You can create a beautiful email signature. You can also leverage AI to help you create email content and more tools down here. Click on get started. Here we want to add your name. This is your display name that your recipients will see when you send them an email. This could simply be your name, your full name, or your first name, and then business name. For example, Stuart-Flyflow, and then hit next. Here we can import your contacts from Gmail if you like. I'm going to do this later. And then we can also create a business email signature if we like. Again, I'll do this later. And here you can quickly download the mobile app. And congratulations, just like that, you've created and set up a business email using your professional domain name. If we navigate up here, you can see our business email. Now what we wanna do is take this business email and add it into Shopify. Head back over to Shopify, then inside of store email, remember we selected store details, we want to add our new business email. And just like that, we've connected and added our business email inside Shopify. Come down and click on save. Now let's head back to our Titan business email. To create a new email, simply navigate up to new email and then go ahead and create your email. Now, if you're interested in a full overview of using Titan business emails and how you can navigate through your account and use all the powerful small business tools and features, then I'll add a comprehensive tutorial up above and down below in the description that will help you get the most out of this business email using Titan. However, that is it for this brief tutorial showing you how you can quickly connect a third-party business domain name with your Shopify store and how you can set up and then connect a business email with your Shopify store. If you're interested in diving deeper into other Shopify tutorials, how you can set up email marketing campaigns, add reviews to your website, as well as how you can drive more sales, I will add those appropriate tutorials down below in the description to help you get the most out of Shopify. So make sure to check those out. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Shopify tutorial showing you how you can set up and connect a professional domain and business email with your Shopify store. Now if you have any questions, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.